15 or so, when I met this beautiful
plants are so super. Listen, I just wrote another poem. If I had a flower for every time I think of... Buy a car. Or sell motivation tapes or talk to dead people. We're here to press the issue. Anyway, let's take a break. We'll be right back after this important information from Vice City Public Radio. That's pressing issues here on VCPR, Vice City Public Radio. If you haven't given money to VCPR and you're listening to the station, you are a thief. That's right, Michelle. You might as well throw a brick through the window and loot the place. How selfish you people are. This is public radio, serving the public with everything that is important, like me. So come on, keep us on air. It's really important. Send us your money. I'm going to say this over and over until you do. Yes, Michelle is known for her begathon tantrums. She cares about this station, unlike you. Think of how much money you spend on drive through fast food and commemorative plate. Fuck yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a wig before. Turn out, eh? <laughs> or is it? That's the question, you see. If we look upon life as a positive experience, do we make it any better? That's what we're discussing right now here on Pressing Issues. Free radio and free ideas. Just keep those donations pouring in. Don't sell out to corporations. We all need a voice. Really, we do. And today, right now, we're giving a voice to three very different people discussing positive thinking. A healthy mental attitude. We've got a god depressive, we've got a very happy orphan, and we've got a motivational speaker with a number of systems. So let's start with you, Constantinos, you strange, creepy creature of darkness. Have you got a positive mental attitude? I like to think so. Oh, really? Misery and suffering, it's everywhere, man. And I actively want a fatal disease. What bad can possibly happen to me? You could win the lottery. The lottery? That's for people with hope. I don't enter the lottery. You could. Damn, you, you two, help me here. I think he's great. I think he's really sweet. I love your hair. It reminds me of a big shaggy dog with long, greasy, straight hair. You know, Chavez, this weird goth guy, he's got a point. I mean, in many ways, what he's talking about is covered in my three-step program, Tape 17. Motivate, demonstrate, then motivate again, part nine. Not guilty. Is this me? Nice size, baby. personal. I come on your cheap ass show, I spare my valuable time, I cancel several important speaking engagements, I talk to thousands of VIPs in order to spread a message of hope. And this is how I get treated. I get insulted by a man with dandruff, I get slandered by a guy who couldn't amuse the birthday party of nine-year-olds, I get attacked by a guy who works on a volunteer radio. This is not volunteer radio. I earn a salary. How much? How much do you earn, Chavez, big man, tough guy with a microphone and a cheap jacket, and a look that says my highest hope in life is to work in a bookstore? I'm a go-getter. You're a cheapskate. You're a fraud with nothing to tell me. 
and no way of helping people. Excellent. I'm really loving this. I hope one of them gets killed. Shut up, Thor. All the buddies are stabbing each other. Shut up. I have a condo. I have a hot tub. I have vacation in Aruba. Vacation is not a verb, moron. Yes, it is, because I'm a VIP. I'm very important. And I'm a teacher, a wise man, not an official. Okay, now I'm gonna do a lot today. Yeah, so I entered the world of men, in disguise, of course. I was dressed like a man. Okay, and you have to change back. What? What did you say? You're still dressed like a man. No, I'm not. These are my normal clothes. Amy, for God's sake, don't fall prey to the patriarchy's evil fashion schemes! Oh, sorry. Anyway, I learned a lot when I was a man. Did you know, for example, that during my time as a steel worker at Pittsburgh, I learned that men sometimes speak crudely about women when they are out of earshot? I was horrified. Or that men regard some women, like you, Amy, as mere sex toys, things for their amusement. Unbelievable! Or that men actually find sports interesting. It's appalling. And they run the world by pretty... Oh, yes, they run the world. Can they do? Yeah. Look at Reagan. Look at Thatcher. Look at Gorbachev. While we stay home with big cookies, well, screw that, sweetheart. Yes, I agree. Good. Don't bake a cookie. Smash him in the face with a baking tray instead. He's a brainless adult. He's a man. Did you know men enjoy looking at pictures of naked women? It's called pornography. It's sick and foul. I'm giving a talk about it this weekend at the Women's Center. That's women with a wand. <laughs> I think you spelled it wrong. Are you a woman? Three of the five letters that make up your description are M-A-N. You're too dependent on men, Amy. That's why I don't call myself a woman, Amy. Um, okay. I bet this radio station is owned by a man. White male conservatives monopolize the media, selecting white wing blondes to propagate conservatism. I don't have blonde hair. Not yet, Amy. Not yet. Did you know men drink beer and smoke cigarettes and wear hats? Uh, yeah? Yeah, well, you must have read my book. <laughs> I discovered a lot of things. I was also a policeman. Of course it does. The media, meaning you, falsely portrays feminists as bra burners, outdated, combat with wearing bad mothers. Why don't you take your top off right now, Amy? Huh? Tell them you won't be censored anymore. No! I'm getting a little freaked out here! Uh, the, the, uh, hit the, let me... Do you we'll teach you how to make beds, march in squares, shine shoes.
crying the hard way in designer clothes with a quarter of a million dollar sports car and a UFO. Partner, let's go cruise in the car and look at One top downtown precinct, two outsiders doing things their way. Yuppie and the Alien on BBC. BJ Smith, tight end for the Vice City Mamas and proud proprietor of BJ's Juice Auto. Cars from all over America come to find a new home in Florida, just like you. I moved here after the draft. Football, uh, not the now, even though they do have a lot in common. I noticed there was one thing missing from this great town, a celebrity 